Hey everybody. Um, because of a bunch of requests I got, I decided to do a series on actual trap sets. So it's going to be right from the fall beaver trapping open water right through to muskrat. Some mink sets that I use, Martin, Fisher, wolf sets, fox, lynx, um, otter, and so on. And uh, so, you know, for all the young guys out there, I hope uh, it helps with some of uh, the questions you had, and, uh, and good luck on the line. Alrighty, enjoy. Okay, for first snare set, you know, you got to get your hole, make sure it's clean, all the snow's out of there, ice chunks. Um, just because snares are more delicate to stay in the position you want them. Now, the thing that decides whether we put snares here or Connie Bear is we just go down into the water, go like this, make sure there's no feed bed right where we're looking to put it because the feed bed will spring the snares just as you're putting them down. So now we're checking the water depth, give it the amount I want to push into the mud, like so. Now we know we got seven feet of water here after it's pushed into the mud a, a foot. Now we know where we're gonna, what level we're gonna have our snares at. This here's the water level right there. So I'll go get all the gear and uh, we'll put the snare set in there. All right. Okay, so. Nails, uh, nail your bait on there, pliers, and your snares. Now there's several different ways to make a set. I guess I'll do another one, Got another pond, but I need two dry poles for that one. So here we got, you need three pieces of wire for six snares. There's your water line there. So we're gonna have it the top of the snares right here. So that if a beaver gets caught, he can't like, you know, if he gets caught before it freezes over, he could poke his head out of there and and not be expired too quickly. And that's not what we want. And they just end up uh, trying to get away. So, you see the snares, they're wound up. I mean, every I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. You just, you know, instead of carrying full-size snares around, they get caught on everything and bent. You just wind them up like that. And then unwind them when you're ready to use them. And they just pop open perfectly like so. So just lay them out where you're gonna want them. And again, snares, a time-consuming set compared to just dropping a 330 hanging set in there, which I might do right out here anyways, because I brought a 330 down here, and if I brought it down, I'm just carrying it back up the hill. One thing I'm going to show you about positioning these snares in here. Now you can, when you attach them, you know, you can attach them, you know, the wire obviously goes through there, and you can have them pointed down like that. Just hang up. Okay. But then any movement coming by is going to spring that thing. If you have them wired so that they're like this, then the, the, there's no natural the weight of this lock is not going to pull it down. It has to be actually pulled by something. So that's why we've got it facing like so. And remember, the be some beavers are going to swim by this going for the feed pile or just swimming by with a stick in their mouth. And 
you know, it's gonna, the odd time, you know, they swim by with another stick in their mouth and they happen to touch these snares, they will spring. They're not like a 330 Connie bear that is held on tight. So you've got your two snares through there. Okay, in the position, the height you want them. And now this is fairly important. You wanna twist this down tight. But remember, everything you twist in tight, you go one turn too many and it's gonna break. That wire will snap right in half. So that's just a matter of getting used to how tight it can go. And you're going to want these snares overlapping about an inch. And that one right there, and this one right on this side. tight. Maybe I'll just show you. You watch. Okay, so you go, that's tight there and there. One turn too many, wires broke. Okay, so that's why you, you just got to learn what is enough and what is too far. Once you have done this a, I don't know, a couple thousand times, you'll get the feel. You'll you'll know on your pliers. You'll feel exactly how, when it's about to break. Okay, so now, you see you've got your snares. They're all set like so. Now we just get our bait, nail a piece on this side, a piece on this side. The beavers come by to chew on that bait and they work around, try and get it off and I mean, you're going to catch beavers. I mean, the perfect catch is right around here. That's where you get most of them. But you'll catch them by the head, by the teeth, just around the top teeth and the nose. You get them by the tail, by the hind foot. You just never know. So now you're going to watch your bait go from here to here. It's usually about 30 inches long with a... length of this here brush axe is good. You don't want those sticks there because they will just catch the snare. But again you're making some marks on here so the beavers can see it. One is also going to definitely need a, an anchor pole, especially with it being so warm the next few days, it is not going to freeze solid in here very well.
Okay, now we flip her over. Get the other piece of bait on the other side. I know you guys seen this set on some of my earlier videos, but I never actually did one of making the set, so caught several beavers in one of these sets this year earlier. Okay, that's the set. Now I just gotta go cut myself a safety pole. And if you if there's a spot where you can put the snare in here, like so. What did you mean? Okay, so if you can see get the snare between the two poles and it'll hold it there really solid. But it's not like you always can, so. so that they aren't going to spring on their own. There we go. Now we'll just lower this down. Like I said, you got to watch that ice in there so it doesn't spring them. It's down into the mud. It'll hold itself, except, yeah, and you can see there where, remember where I said it's low? Now the water, because I chopped that one hole, it's all getting covered in there. I'm gonna go grab a safety. You on, remember that. Do what? Oh, you're going? Okay, so I'm just filling this in a little bit. So it doesn't look like a big giant hole in the ice that the beavers are going to want to climb out of and wreck my set. But we got the safety pole on there now. And uh, only other thing, your spare bait, just remember, stand it up. So if you get a snowstorm, you know what? I'm gonna go cut another tree just for a piece of meat. So now that's everything for. I know in all the books you see that set is made with nine snares. Total waste of time um, and snares for that matter, because you know when uh, a beaver get ca gets caught in there, probably 50% of those snares are going to be totally ruined, all bent out of shape. So if you have nine, you just have more wasted snares in the end. And uh, not that the snare wires expensive, and you just cut the locks back off and reuse them, but still time. So, anyways, that's it for the snare set. Alrighty.